so on Saturday, I had an interview with Vanessa or Vanessa Blaylock, and um, we had the interview at one o'clock, and uh, we met at her villa, which is her daughter's um, creation, I think, or it was either hers, I wasn't exactly sure. But um, we met at one, so Ian, Kevin, and I interviewed her, and she's actually pretty cool. Like, um, I didn't think that she would be so nice and eager to answer our questions. So um, she basically is a performance artist, and um, it was really interesting to hear her opinions and ideas on performance art. Um, it was definitely on a different level of understanding. It's not just black and white. She um, really explained a deeper meaning in performance art. And uh, she gave us the idea of, for our project, the idea that um, a group of people stand in line with our laptops and in Second Life, in, in our laptops, there our avatars are standing with laptop, like holding laptops. So, in a way, that's like performance art. And she pitched that idea to us, and I thought it was a great idea, and we probably might end up doing it. Anyway, she has one daughter, and she currently teaches at a university. That's her main job, but um, she doesn't do... Um, well, she doesn't have any other job, just teaching at a university. And, uh, I, I don't know what to say. Um, it was fun. It was really interesting. I didn't think I'd meet an artist in Art 110. Uh, I learned more about performance art, and I definitely checked out some of her stuff on her website. And, uh, she just recently did something called the Senior Project, because, um, they're not... There aren't a lot of seniors on Second Life, so she thought it'd be a great idea to get a lot of people, or some, a group of people to look like seniors and just stand in that circle. I have it in the picture um, for like an hour, I think. And um, so most of her stuff just revolves around. Sorry, that's distracting. This is my puppy. Chewing up my shoe. Do you mind, Carrot? Yeah, he's so cute. Anyways, I'm sorry. Um, most of her stuff is usually done on Second Life. Well, she's done some works with even Franco Matez. And, uh, yeah, so that stuff is on Second Life, too. So most of her work is based off Second Life. Um, she started off as... She, I guess she was a tomboy, skater type of person that didn't give a shit about anything. So it all started with her skating and then the ramp was like like a place and skating was the performance. And so it just all derived from there and that's where her fascination comes from and that's how it all started. And yeah, so... I mean, I guess that's all I can say about the interview with Vanessa. It was really nice talking to her, and she's really nice. And she does cuss, which is surprising to me because she's 40 years old. But who says that 40-year-olds or older people can't cuss? So I, was, I felt more comfortable. I felt like she wasn't so strict and old-fashioned. She was definitely open to new ideas and stuff like that. So, yeah.